All right, let's look how bad this is. Ah, uh, yeah. Yep, all the way up. Both sides are the same. And then under here, I guess it laps over and then even past the lap, of course. And it's rusted out right there. Uh, that's not going to be fun to fix. So, in the, you know, this is a really tough position because you're reaching up the whole time you're working on that. So, it, you know, it's not ideal for doing anything. I'll just leave it that way. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm going to fix it. But well, I'm just figuring out. I think I need to get this piece first so that I have some reference to where the holes are. And then I'll just, I'll make it and then I'll put that piece on and then I'll just drill through it and tap, which will be really fun to do. Upward with your arms over your head. Yeah. So let's look at the other side. Yeah, look how rusty that is in there too. Once I remove all that scale, it'll probably be holes. So yeah, it's not good. But yeah, this has to be fixed before I do the roof patches here. Because I kind of need to reach my hands in there and do stuff somewhat. So some of the roof patches I can still do. I might do some of that in this video. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Because the problem with just doing this thing straight through is I need, you know, I need that piece. And it's the weekend right now. I can't go get one of these. They actually make them now. They actually make that panel. Um, They... Uh, weren't making them for a while, and then you'd see them on the Samba, and the guys were like, $120? It's like, yeah, right. For what? Come on. You know, I'll get my bead roller out. Screw you. I'll just make a... Just run a... All I gotta do is just make that piece, and then run a bead in a square in the middle. Done. But, you know, for half of that, it's worth it to buy the one, because I need to use that to kind of make that right you see what i mean i need to put that on and then make sure my shape is right so let's see if i just cut this off right now if i just cut right here and there yeah i guess i could cut it off and match a piece it's kind of what i need to do i don't know just kind of thinking out loud this is a hard piece this is going to be a pain in the ass to make i already knew it was Kind of why I jumped on the window frames because they were in the way in here and I just wanted to get them out of here. So I went and did those on the last video. But I'll do some of this. I don't know if I'll get it all in here. But anyway, I'll we'll cut away at it. I, I don't know how much of it I'm going to be able to get in in frame on a video. It's like, where am I going to set up a camera in here, right? It's really not easy to film either. So we'll keep moving forward.
right, let's take a look here. Got that welded up, believe it or not. It's actually doing pretty good. I couldn't get it much cleaner than that because I can't really grind in there. But I used a wire brush, like right here, and cleaned it up pretty good, and it actually held pretty good. So that's one thing about that Harbor Freight welder. It'll weld through some crap. Um, then this looks terrible right now, but once it's got filler on it, it should look pretty good. You know, for what it was, get the cover. I need to get the cover and then finish making all the little um, tapped holes so that I can, I have to weld, like I have to leave this open so I can weld a little piece of strip of metal on there from here. And then I'll get that, those holes drilled and tapped. Then I can work on this section. Look at this side looks ugly like i said I, I left the original little thing here i gotta figure out how to grind all this down and clean it up and get all those little bumps to work back again and i kind of messed that one up a little bit but anyway it's like it's the impossible we're fixing the impossible so anyway it'll look all right it's not gonna look great but it'll look you know, nobody's going to look up there and just go, oh, wow, that was junk. And there, that was, you know, it'll look like it was done. Fairly nice. Not perfect, but nice enough. <laughs>
All right, that takes care of that, I guess. I'll just gotta go through there and do a little more touch up, straighten it out a little bit. I got a little dip going on in the middle there. I can actually reach that with a hammer, no problem. Hammer and a chisel, knock that straight out. You guys look pretty good. Use some filler from there. Uh, that's, you know, that's just another way to do it. A lot of guys will try and form the whole thing and make the whole piece, and that's fine if they wanna do that. You know, I'm not spending that kind of time on this. I've got too many repairs to do to do all that. If that was the case, you just throw this thing away. But we're not throwing it away. We're going to save it. So the back, I rolled the edge. Um, got a few little holes there. I'll show you guys later on how to fix that stuff. I'm not going to weld those up. It was just too much work to do all of them. There were just too many little things going on there. And it just, like I said, I could have spent... I should have replaced this. I should have replaced the roof. I should have replaced the corner. By the time I was done, I should have all new metal in this whole thing. So I might as well just bought one already done. So that would have been much easier. That's not the way I'm doing it. So anyway, um, I'm going to get that all done. We're going to get this old front. Get that section done. I got the panel for this thing. I got to put it on there. Gonna put it up there and then drill the holes and then finish welding. I have to put the support pieces in here behind here, the little metal strips. I need to get them, I don't have anything for that. And then you know, dr drill them, tap them, thread them. It's all gonna take time. So, all this stuff here takes a lot of time. This little vent, I got that little piece on there. I put that piece on, I didn't get that on camera. Really hard to shoot film, film in here. So anyway, it's really hard to film out here. I had to get a taller stand, a really tall one. I don't know where my other one is. Oh, it's over there, huh. right there. It's It goes up another about a foot taller than this. So this one does. To make it easier to see, it's just really hard to film. It's still hard to film. You need to be like really high and then shoot downward. And yeah, I don't have anything for that, so. Anyway, maybe later I'll get something. Probably by the time I'm done with this. Anyway, um, that's it for this video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, stuff going on. It sure does look a lot better with that edge rolled. And I, I couldn't really use the skin zipper all the way across on that. I had to, it was really a pain. Because the skin zipper is not designed to be for that narrow of an area. So it worked out. I still am going to actually replace a lot of this stuff here i'll show you guys that just i just butt in a piece and grind it in a place it's fine it's not hard to do but it just takes a lot of time this roof really takes a lot of time to do and i still need to get sheet metal to do the top edge of this so i gotta do all this edge with top metal with a sheet metal and i can proceed to doing some more in the bed and get that all done because i want to get that done and painted Kind of, I got a little bit of a goal going on. I'm trying to finish too, so I can get, move this thing out of this area. And then the rest of it, maybe I'll do outside after I clean out everything in here. I don't know. It's just a kind of an idea I got. So anyway, stay tuned for that. I'll talk to you in the next one. Please like, share, and subscribe.